welcome back, legends, to Bud Fellas. As always, this episode is strictly educational and intended for viewers over 18. We don't encourage or promote illegal activity. In the UK, cannabis cultivation remains illegal without a licence. What we are doing here is exploring the science and techniques growers use to understand their plants better. Today's episode is about training and topping, two techniques that growers use to shape their plants. If you've ever wondered how some growers manage to turn one small plant into a bushy structure with multiple colas instead of a single main stem, the answer lies in training. By the end of this video, you'll know the difference between low stress and high stress training, what topping is and why growers do it. Training simply means guiding the way a plant grows. In nature, cannabis tends to grow tall with one main central stem. That works fine in the wild, but in controlled environments, growers often prefer shorter, bushier plants with more flowering sites. Training is about redistributing growth so that light reaches more parts of the plant. Think of it like teaching a tree to grow in a certain shape. It's the same principle. Low stress training, or LST, is exactly what it sounds like. A gentle way of bending and tying down branches so the plant spreads out horizontally instead of vertically. By doing this, growers create an even canopy where all bud sites receive equal light. This reduces shading and encourages balanced growth. LST is popular because it's relatively safe. The plant isn't damaged, just guided. Beginners often find LST easier to start with, since mistakes are less severe. For example, tying down a branch slightly too tightly might slow it down, but it rarely kills the plant. Low stress training involves techniques that intentionally stress or damage the plant to change its growth pattern. The most famous example is topping. Topping. This means cutting off the very tip of the main stem. When you remove the top, the plant no longer has a single leader. Instead, it redirects energy to the side branches, producing two new main shoots. Over time, this can be repeated to create multiple colas. Fimming. Similar to topping, but instead of cutting cleanly above a node, growers pinch or cut part of the new growth. This can result in three or four new shoots instead of two, super cropping. A more advanced method where branches are gently crushed or bent to force the plant to heal and grow stronger in response. These methods come with risk. If done poorly, they can stunt growth or permanently damage the plant. That's why they're classed as high stress. So why do growers train or top plants? The answer is simple, to maximise efficiency. In a natural state, much of a plant's lower growth is shaded and produces little. Training exposes more of the plant to light, meaning more sites can develop properly. Topping breaks apical dominance, the plant's natural tendency to focus on one main stem, and encourages bushier growth. The end result is often a higher yield and better use of space. Think of it like pruning fruit trees or shaping hedges. Humans have always trained plants to grow in ways that suit their needs. Cannabis is no different. So Beginners what? sometimes get overexcited and make mistakes with training. Common errors include topping too early before the plant is strong enough to recover. Overtraining where the plant spends more energy healing than growing. Using rough tools or hands, leading to infections or breaks. Expecting instant results. Training takes time for the plant to respond. The key is moderation. Training should guide growth, not overwhelm the plant. Training Beginning guiding plant shape for better light exposure. Low stress training bends and ties branches gently. High stress training includes topping, fimming, and super cropping. Growers train plants to increase efficiency and yields. Beginners must avoid overdoing it or starting too early. And training. that's episode 5, Legends. Training and topping explained simply. It's a fascinating part of plant science, showing how growers can shape nature with careful techniques. In episode 6, 
we'll explore the flowering stage. What happens when the plant shifts from growing to producing its iconic flowers? Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, and keep following along with the Budfellas Beginner Series. Until next time, stay curious.